In this video, we'll be discussing the continuity test. Our continuity test has three parts. It says a function y equals f of x is continuous at x equals a if and only if the following three things are true. First, f of a exists. Second, the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists. And third, the limit as x approaches f of the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. So the first part is saying that a lies in the domain of f. The second one tells us that the limit exists. And the third one tells us that the limit equals the function value, which is our original definition of continuity of an interior point. For one-sided continuity, the limit in parts 2 and 3 of the test should be replaced by the appropriate one-sided limit. Let's use the continuity test to determine whether f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 6 is continuous at 4. Now we should know the answer right away just by looking at this. Our function f of x is a polynomial and we know that all polynomials are continuous so again we already know the answer is yes but we need to back it up with some calculus and on any assignment that I ask you to prove continuity using the continuity test I need to see all three parts so the first part is to show f of 4 exists and the way we do that is just by plugging 4 into our function. You know, if you had something with a variable in the denominator or something, you might have it where it didn't exist, or a log. We're going to get that f of 4 is equal to 2, so it definitely exists because we got a defined number there. The second part of the test is to show that the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x exists. We're finding the limit as x approaches 4 of x squared minus 5x plus 6. Since this is a polynomial, all we do is replace x with our a value of 4. And we get 2. So our limit exists. And then the third part of this is just to see if our two values are the same. Was f of 4 and the limit as x approaches 4, are those the same number? Two equals two. Therefore, by the continuity test, f of x equals x squared minus five x plus six is continuous. at x equals 4. So that one was nice because it's a polynomial. You'll be thrilled every time you're working with a polynomial in calculus. They always work out nice. So let's look at one that is more complicated. Let's look at a rational function. Again, we're using the, our three 
part continuity test to determine whether f of x equals x plus 7 over x minus 7 is continuous at 7. The first thing we want to see is does or show, however you want to word this, you know, show f of 7 exists. So we'll plug in f of 7 is going to be 7 plus 7 over 7 minus 7. We're getting 14 over 0, which is undefined. Well, if we get an undefined answer, then that means that it doesn't exist. So since it didn't exist, I'm not even going to waste my time with the other two parts of the test because all three things have to happen so we can conclude f of x is discontinuous at x equals 7 because f of 7 does not exist. Alright, let's look at one more. Let's look at a piecewise function. We want to use the continuity test to determine whether f of x equal to 2 minus x if x is less than 2, 1 if x is equal to 2, x squared if x is greater than 1. We want to determine whether this is continuous at x equals 1. So first we need to show f of 1 exists. So f of 1, let's see which piece we use when x equals 1. We use this one. So f of 1 is equal to 1. All right, it, it exists. Second part of our test, we need to show that the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x also exists. Now, since the value we're approaching in our limit is the x value where our piecewise function breaks up, we are going to have to do a left and a right hand limit, see if those two match to see whether or not the limit as x approaches 1 exists. Start with the limit as x approaches 1 from the left of f of x. So left side of 1 means less than 1, so we're going to be using our top function. This will be the limit as x approaches 1 from the left of 2 minus x. And we're just plugging 1 in for x here. We get 1. Now we'll do the second side. take a look at the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f of x. So if we're approaching from the right, that means our x values are larger than 1, so we're going to be using this bottom function here, x squared. Plugging 1 in, 1 squared is equal to 1. We take a look at our left and right hand limit values. These match, therefore, the limit as x approaches just 1 of f of x is equal to 1. Great, it exists. Last thing we need to do. is show that f of 1 is equal to the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x. f of 1 was 1. The limit as x approaches 1 of f of x is 1.
Therefore, f of x is continuous at x equals 1.